Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day on our farm in Thailand. And today we're gonna to be checking out the progress on our giant Taiwan bamboo. Almost here guys, just spotted two little chipmunks legging it down the road, coming out of our uh, rows of sweet corn on the farm. So uh, tonight is gonna to be trapping chipmunk night. Uh, so the next, hang on, there's a bug on the camera. <laughs> so the next uh, Thai cookery session may well be spicy chipmunk. Right then, we're just about here. It's a little bit overgrown, but the good news is the bamboo's been growing just as well, if not better than the weeds. So let's check it out. We've been asked by a few, few of you viewers to give you an update on how it's going. Some of you are already growing bamboo, some interested in maybe starting it. And uh, I thought, yes, it's, it's way past, um, oh my word, it's way past update date. So what I'm gonna do is collate this video with a couple of videos that we took initially when we were, excuse me, when we planted the first lot of bamboo um, and then any um, videos after this one on this subject will be in the, the playlist. What I've also started to do with our videos guys for every video is um, underneath the description you'll see uh, a little link for sharing the video but underneath that we've got the linked playlist so if you're interested in this sort of genre of video that we're doing on the farm then um, in all likelihood there's additional videos as well so just click on the link to that uh, and then you'll see the other videos in the playlist right then let's get in here and have a proper look so here we are about a year year and a half into the the project now for those of you that are new to the the channel or have not seen any of the bamboo videos that we've taken previously this is the giant Taiwan bamboo uh, grows incredibly quickly once it's got going um, it grows a lot lot bigger than the native Thai bamboo varieties and the other good thing is it grows it grows all year I know all bamboo grows all year but this grows that you can actually crop it whereas a lot of bamboo you just normally get these small ones growing in the height of the dry season whereas this one if you keep on watering it uh, then you can keep on cutting it and keep on selling it so for us um, we did get wind quite a while ago um, that there was a company going to be set up in the uh, the town nearest to us and that they would be mainly purchasing bamboo and um, I can't remember which fruit it is, but we don't we don't grow it anyway. We've tried and it, it hasn't worked. So we did get a bit of a heads up. So that's why we've put about two rye of, of bamboo in. Now, sometimes when you hear these stories, it doesn't actually happen. These companies don't come, um, but it looks like it is happening. So we've got a bit of a flying start on, on most people. Because um, what normally happens when these companies move in, uh, everyone then starts to grow it. You'll see that they, they vary a great deal in size. This is only a couple of feet taller than me, um, but this one was put in later. We did have a few that died. Uh, we haven't got any irrigation set up at the moment. When we first put these in, it was prior to us coming and moving onto the farm. So um, they were put in and left to fend for themselves. The initial, not install Lee, you muppet, what? The initial planting was for a hundred, a hundred plants. I think we lost about 10. So you can see the, the earlier ones that didn't make it were replaced and they're quite a long way behind. There's a, there's a typical example here. Now these, we didn't purchase. We grew them ourselves. So what we did do before we ventured into um, planting all these, we bought two stock plants from the uh, supplier 
not too far from here and we popped them in the back garden of our village house um, and we were, we were eating it after about seven or eight months it was incredibly quick uh, we could cut a few bits and bobs off here and eat them but of course when you want to farm them you want to let them grow quite a lot before you start cutting them here's a good one over here brilliant really really good so if that was back at the other house in the village we would have had two of those but that's good that is really really good feed wise we fed them twice um, both times with them um, poultry poo mainly quail poo um, we'd love to have more chicken poo that's the stronger stuff um, and then when we weed around them we just pile it on the bottom there so all of these have had a full bucket full I would say four months ago but they're looking really healthy give you an idea of some of the overall height up there now there is quite a bit of weed admittedly um, I've been in here twice with the tractor turning it all over gets rid of the big stuff but of course the small stuff comes back now I predict and I could be wrong but judging by the other two people that have planted this and they planted about six months before us um, they've now got a canopy over the top I want to say canopy if you can imagine all this joining up to each other so these these two plants are joining they're almost meeting in the middle here there so once they all meet or just about meet believe me there'll be zero weeds in here um, as, the, as the, uh, the canopy forms a bit of a shade so the sun can't penetrate that much so that will be good over here we've got a dead one unfortunately I may have grazed that with the uh, rice paddy wheels on Caesar uh, she does get a bit excited bless her um, yeah I think that's a goner so we need to put them back in there it's good why grow bamboo you may ask it's not particularly expensive but it depends on the time of year and depends what variety you've got and what sort of condition it is so there's another new one there so round here it ranges from between 10 to 40 baht for one kg Can you imagine the uh, the bamboo shoots that you cut this particular variety some of them are oh bloody hell what did we weigh last year we had one that was 4 kg and you can get them bigger than that so our plants are still young um, we're up to almost 160 trees um, predict we'll be cutting in the rainy season we'll be cutting twice a week maybe three times a week but we'll see the more poo you can get on them I reckon the more crazy they'll go because we've seen a huge acceleration in growth since we put it on there we need to get in here and clean it again but say it's so tall now it's not really an issue now I don't want to keep on putting the tractor in here one is a cost thing of course the diesel but the other thing is bamboo roots are very very shallow so and they spread out very far if you keep on cutting in here then you'll be dam damaging the ends of the root system which is obviously the last thing you want to do so if I was to put the tractor in it would probably just be one run right down the middle um, you, you, you could sort of suggest well don't put your discs in too your plan discs in too deep but uh, now your roots are very very shallow so uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to dig or plow rather any more at all bit of a side note guys um, I'm not sure how the audio is going to go with this um, we are, we've got the GoPro repaired uh, since it's come back though the audio is even worse than it used to be so at the moment I've got, I've got my cake hole right behind it 
and um, I fiddled with the settings um, but I don't know it, it might still be pants so you might have to bear with this or, or not if it's really really bad we're gonna have to go back to using the phone but when I look back at the videos it's quite frustrating because the, the, the phone videos I, I love the, the way it shoots the quality um, of the of the uh, the video footage but you've got the camera shake my my gimbal won't won't take my phone so if I want to use my gimbal we've got to use the GoPro and then the audio is bloody shocking so hopefully fingers crossed um, it's not too bad if it does get on your waz just let me know I'll, I'll, prob I'll try and put like a little poll um, on the screen now of uh, what do you prefer <laughs> a shaky video or a uh, pants audio quality now these from here are all the younger ones that we put in and all of these were grown from our two trees back at the village house so I'm quite happy with that and then the last lot are seriously playing catch up over here we've got about four meters in between each one uh, between each row not bad not bad at all come to the end of where we've put them in now let's say it's only about two two and a bit rye uh, and then and then we're into the palms okay, so the palms form a canopy as well so hopefully within two years the palms will be at such a size that they will form a, um, a covering canopy the same as the bamboo so we'll have the same same cover from over there stretching all the way to where the corn is here that'd be brilliant no weeding for about oh about five rye palms are looking brilliant so happy with these outrageous get out of there when the bamboo is this small when you when it does get to the uh, the dry season ideally you want to be giving them water so we're, we're just at the moment we're just um, installing our very first irrigation system back up near the house for our fruit trees once we've learned from all of our mistakes doing that uh, we're then going to look at introducing it up here for the palms and the bamboo now some of you might be thinking why the hell are you growing so much bamboo two rye isn't an awful lot um, yes there are other crops that you could probably make some make more money from I'm not disputing that um, but it's low maintenance once it's up and running um, we love cutting it it's quite addictive it's it's like uh, Easter egg hunting um, what else there's so much demand for it locally and um, via companies that want to buy it and um, you know transport it to Bangkok and and so forth so supply and demand it's a no-brainer the price if it's 40 baht a kg gonna be minted 10 baht we're still all right with that so we'll eat loads of it Toon's good at making sour bamboo of course and um, I, I just can't I can't see a problem with it if the price plummets we've still got our palm nut or if the palm nut price plummets we've still got our bamboo we haven't got all our eggs in one basket which is I try and emphasize this to people when they say you want to grow this this and this and this some some crops there the prices are quite volatile out here I suppose they are in most countries but if we filled the place full of cassava or sugar cane or rice and then we had an absolute mare um, we'd be struggling even more so I, I think putting three or four rye of this and that and giving it a go to us it, it, it makes sense um, I know if you did um, one cash crop and you had an absolute bumper year then yeah that would 
get you a lot lot more money but this is the way for us what has gone on here I do believe that, that couldn't have been me I think something's in there nibbling that outrageous how dare they No, it looks, it looks healthy. Or is that ants? You get a lot of ants around the bamboo. Good stuff. I think that'll do. It? Just walking around the bloody muddy field, looking at tall bloody grass. I'd like to say uh, hi to the guys that have just recently joined the Facebook group, Rural Life Thailand. Um, and thanks to Peter giving us a shout out on there. I believe it was you. Um, some others, I, I'm not sure if I believe you. Uh, and so if, the, if you're watching this for the first time, you've followed a link from the, the Facebook group to our channel, then uh, welcome and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Don't forget, leave a comment. We'll always do our best to reply to you. It's probably better than our bloody videos anyway, the comment section. It's always a good laugh. Well, I think it is. Uh, there's a couple of fruit bats on there, but just uh, enjoy it. That's it, we've had some really cloudy weather the last few days. Oh, that was it. It's coming back to me now. Solar power, I did an update a few weeks ago. Said one of the best things we've ever ever purchased, brilliant. Now we know what we're doing with it. Fuck like sake, having the mare guys now. Three or four cloudy days. And we'd put the incubator back on 24 seven. And uh, the, it's the ducklings and uh, turkeylings have just started hatching. Bang, off went the power. Cold day as well. And uh, so we had to kickstart the generator up and uh, everything was running off that and charging the solar, but obviously we can't leave a bloody petrol driven Jenny running until all the eggs were hatched. So we, we've made the executive decision to uh, turn the Jenny off at night and see how many survived. I think we got 14 out, um, we only got one turkey and then by 24 hours later down to 12 and no turkey so gutted about the turkeys um, but 12 ducklings and they're all strong they're already outside uh, next vlog I might do uh, a little duckling video for you show you how uh, to set it up for them so we haven't gone with a brooder uh, we learnt a lot of lessons the first time we had a first batch of ducklings and uh, I'm not saying I think we've nailed it, but a big, big improvement. Right, just about back. I'm going to whack this onto the laptop and just see how crap the audio is. So as, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, also, I'd just like to quickly say um, from the last video, a lot of positive feedback for, for our uh, decision to go onto Patreon. I'm not going to be pushing that guys I think it's a bit a bit bloody cheesy to do that if you'd like to help us that that's great but if, if patron if patron isn't for you there is a way you can do it that's totally free of charge guys and all, all you have to do or I'd like you to consider it is just share the video out that will help us a lot you can still go and have a look on the patron site and see how we intend to use the funds if you look in the goal there then I think it's something really, really, really good in our eyes. Uh, a little bit different to what most people are doing. All right then, thanks for watching as always. You take care. Ta-da for now.